Were the agents following the Ford? Yes. Were they speeding and or passing cars in order to catch up to the Ford or to actively apprehend the people in the Ford? No. I'm 23 ABC's Joanna Restrepo. Welcome back to The Trend. Burbank police are continuing to look into the connection between three bodies that were found on Tuesday and three men that were reported missing on Sunday in Bakersfield. A flyer showing Lucas Amiyama, Carlos Lopez, and Giancarlos Amiyama has been circulating Facebook ever since they've been reported missing. On Tuesday, police found a car with several bodies inside and they believe the deaths didn't happen where they found the bodies but rather somebody dumped them there. The coroner's office, however, has not yet confirmed the connection between the two. The Kern County District Attorney's Office announced today that they will not file any charges against the ICE agents involved in a fatal crash that took place in Delano last month. Following the crash, Delano PD asked the DA to file charges against the agents for giving false information to officers by saying they didn't have their lights on when they attempted to pull over Santo Garcia and Marcelina Perfecto. District Attorney Lisa Green said the surveillance video wasn't enough proof for the charge to be filed, saying the statements given by the agents can't be considered a contributing factor in the case. The only way they could be considered material is if the pursuit with lights and sirens was a factor in the cause of the accident. Three civilian witnesses who were interviewed by the Delano Police Defor Department stated the Ford Explorer was not being chased or followed by any law enforcement vehicles at the time of the accident. In fact, that those witnesses' statements in combination with the Delano Police Department's conclusion that the primary collision factor was an un unsafe turn with an associated factor of unsafe speed on the part of the occupants of the vehicle of the Ford. I'm Joanna Restrepo, host of The Trend, bringing you today's top stories. Thanks for watching.